The absorption refrigerator technology utilizes a chemical reaction between vaporized ammonia and hydrogen to cause a flash freeze. This all occurs in the cooling coils on the back side of the unit. This single set of coils is using a heat transfer to cool both the refrigerator and the freezer compartments. Either power source, electric or propane, uses the same set of coils. Now let's talk about temperature control inside the refrigerator. First, best practices are to power on the refrigerator 24 hours in advance of a trip or at least the night before. It can take up to 12 hours to reach a safe temperature inside and possibly longer depending upon ambient temperature. And if you have the RV absorption style refrigerator, a reminder that the RV must be level when you power it on. The absorption refrigerator has a couple of ways to control the temperature inside, and one of them is called the thermistor. This device could be perched on one of the metal fins that you will see on the back wall inside the fridge, or some might be permanently mounted somewhere else located inside. If it's the adjustable type, the thermistor can be moved up and down to control temperature inside the refrigerator. Other models have thermostat controls on the control board either above the freezer or in between the refrigerator and freezer doors. The freezer does not have a separate control panel or temperature setting. Keep a thermometer specifically in the refrigerator to ensure that food temperatures are staying at or below 40 degrees.